God, he's listening, and uh, if he is, like I said, Sam, you know, I met you a few times, you know, and uh, I'll be, I'm going to say a lot of these about you, Sam, you probably ain't going to like, but I'm sure you'll be able to call in, and I'll speak to you personally, well, you know, however you want to do it, Sam, you know what I mean? I mean, I did a lot of time. I faced 360 years of travel all cast around, and I, I could have turned at any time. That's all they wanted, you know? It was scary there when the judge says you're the worst ghouls we ever met. You think to yourself, what kind of sense am I going to get now? <laughs> so, Sammy, you can tell me whatever you want. You know, but you knew the rule when you started the game. You understand? All was well and good when you're riding high on the hog. But when the hog got shot, he's ready to get roasted. Boy, you squealed like a pig. I don't know what else I can say about it, Rock. You know what I mean? I'd have to really think about more in depth, you know, what I know of him and, you know, Make him understand why I feel yeah, and we'll, do, we'll do a special show on that. And you know, the thing is, I've I've been watching a little bit here and there about you know him, and you know, I it everybody you know outside of that life, we can understand the justification. I can't understand it, but some people can understand the justification of how people think that you know. And he he uses the term I double. I was. I double crossed a double crosser. John Gotti was a double crosser, and I just double crossed him. But in in fact, Pete didn't he double cross everybody, even people that didn't double cross him? The whole well, entire mob didn't he put away guys that had yes, nothing to do with yes. his business at all? Yes. Once you start telling, you can't leave nothing out. Because if you leave out an iota of things, and they find that the deal they made you was done. But even he was assuming that that's what was going to happen. He didn't even wait to see if that was going to happen. He could have changed at any minute. He could have been sitting there at the Fed's table and found out that job was going to call the government up, and say, listen, I want to tell you what I know. But he didn't even wait for that. He just did what he had to do to make himself free. You know what I mean? I, that's the way I look at that. Listen, yeah. like you said, like you said a minute ago, if a guy is working from nine to five and comes home to his wife and kids and sees somebody breaking the law, I got no problem calling the police. That's what he's supposed to do. He's a citizen. He's a good American. He's doing what he's got to do as a legitimate guy. But when a guy next door to you, I'm selling pot, he's selling pot, he gets caught. He's got a wife and two kids. I got a wife and two kids. And he decides, well, I ain't going to jail. I'm going to send a guy next door to jail. I'm going to take him away from his wife and two kids. What the fuck is that all about, man? What is this country coming? I'm going to tell you something. In my heart, if, this, if they have a land that's on this soil, the United States, there's no more patriots. These kids are all going to know is to snitch. It's all they're teaching them today. You go to prison, you hear guys bragging about, I snitched on my mother, I snitched on my cousin. I mean, if that's the case, what are you going to do if somebody holds a gun to your head or tells you I'm going to torture you? You're going to tell everything you know. I mean, there's, there's no more no more integrity. That's my word I'm going to use to these younger generation. And, uh, and, you know, don't get me started. It's too late. I'm gonna, uh, I get worked up, I have a heart attack. <laughs> 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 yeah, and I'll have an eye, another eye stroke. <laughs> oh my eye will blow up again. Fucking I, I, this one, this one's the next one to go, right? Fucking I tell you what, that a health scare is a fucking health scare, that's for sure. I don't care who you are. You can be a bull, you can be a horse, you can do whatever, but man, your body quits on you, you're fucked. So uh yeah, I'm back I'm back at it, you know, walking five miles a day and trying to do a hundred pushups a day. I'll get back. I'll get back in the thing. I'll get myself back and get hey, my sure blood down and eat right again. I used to have one of those. <laughs> I believe. You know, you know, I used to have one of those. I always had some kind of fucking in my house. Uh, I also want to say, you know, if I talk about the ball, I think I want to switch over to Mr. Francesi for a little bit because I knew his father and I knew people that is so ah, yes. Let's that. talk about Well, let's 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 finish the ball for I want to just say that Michael, your father was a wonderful guy. And I don't know what the hell happened. He made a ton of money with the Russians with that gasoline shit. And when it came time to pay your dues, you just made a breath. You say you never told on nobody, right? That's wonderful. But what you did say got a lot of people in trouble, all right? You didn't get out of witness and point it over. That's a fact. 
But what I just wrote, there's a word for that. It's called dry stitching. And in fact, you know what I know, Michael, right. that you, your own father did something that no other father would do unless he thought his kid was really bad doing wrong. So we'll talk about that in a future date, if that's okay with you, Rod, because I would have to get into about that, you know, well, his father wanted and what happened. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, when he told, you know, uh, the, the, the government how the operation worked, he fucked yeah. a lot of Russians. He fucked, he fucked, he fucked everybody that was doing the deal. Everybody was doing the scam. He showed him how to catch him. He, he walked out with me. He, he walked out with me. He left everybody else holding He sure day. did. Yeah, he and paid yeah. a few fines and he and he had like a you know minimum security bid. And, you know, he, he sure helped himself out for sure. You know, and I hope to God that he really is a Christian guy right now, but he's still making a whole lot of money off the mafia. Yeah, well, you know, he's, tell, he's, his, he's, tell his side of it again. You know what I mean? Just wrote a, he yeah. just wrote a book that was a few days ago. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, he's, he's just. Uh, Boy, if, I yeah. wrote a, if I ever sat down and really wrote a book, anyhow, it's because of guys like him. And Sammy Bull and all these kids growing up today are prisons so over, overloaded with bullshit. I mean, really bullshit. I mean, you can go to the government and tell them a story. And they, if they if they like, which at the end of that hook at the fishing line, they're going to go with it. You need to even add to me. Just say I love, I love her from the start and tell her that I'm yearning 